Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the two track error profiles I used while playing Arena Commander. My precision mode profile that I use for aiming gimbals, and my view profile that I use for looking around with ease. Now to get the precision mode v2 profile I use set up, simply boot up your track IR software, create a new profile, name it whatever you want, we'll just leave it at new profile for now, close the track IR software, now find where your track IR software is installed to, and there it is right there. Now if you're going to edit this file, and if you edit the file and try to save it while it's still in the uh, profiles profiles folder it'll it'll give you some error it won't work so we'll just move it out of there for now now you go to the link and download the text file that is my uh, my track IR profile in notepad form so you go to the track IR profile you created open with notepad delete everything in there Copy everything from my uh, track IR v or aiming mode, precision mode V2, and paste it in your track IR profile. Save it. Now move it back in here. Now, as you can see, there's two precision mode twos. That's because uh, the name of the name of the file may be uh, new new profile, but the name of the actual uh, profile within the text file is still precision mode two. So I I know it works. Um, you can actually change this. Let me show you right now. In fact. I want to change that? Just find the profile. In fact, these are the same. We'll just delete that and just open this one with Notepad. Right here where it says name. Name that whatever you want. Save it. Throw it back in there. And there it is. So that's how you change the name of the profile. Key binds are the same, sensitivity curves all the same. So now you have my aiming profile and what I also have this set up to on the motion control is I have the speed knocked down to 0.6 and smoothness set up to 15. So when you use this profile, if you want to use the exact same settings I use, Make sure to change the speed to 0 0.6 and the smoothness to 15. And now you have the exact same profile I use for my track IR aiming. A few more notes here is that downloading and installing my view mode profile is the exact same thing as installing the precision mode profile. I'll have the links to both in the description. Now, one thing I like to do depending on whether I'm using fixed weapons or gimbaled weapons, is while I'm playing, you'll actually hear this little sound. This is me using voice attack to uh, automatically hit the key binds when I flip a switch to switch between my precision mode profile and my viewing mode profile. Now the viewing mode profile, unlike the precision mode profile, is it's faster. It moves around faster, it's easy to turn your head all the way around. Now, when I'm using fixed weapons, I use this profile since I don't need the slow precision um, for aiming gimbaled weapons. So I use this profile to allow myself more freedom in moving my head around. So you get better situational awareness. Now, what I, I suggest you do is, if you have voice attack or not, if you want to use both, then you can go and go in the action. 
select profile and you can set up the keybind whenever you hit this keybind combination it will switch to this profile whatever profile you have selected now i have some wonky keybinds which i actually don't remember because i use voice attack to remember it for me whenever i flip the switch if you have voice attack then uh you can set yourself up a keybind for this and then make a uh, voice attack profile Where you can uh, you can either do a verbal command or you can bind it to a physical button on your hotas if you happen to have one. This way, if you're using fixed weapons and you load up into a match, you can just flip a switch or push a button, or simply tell, use a verbal command, and you can switch between the uh, different profiles on the fly.